Hello there and welcome back to another video. You are looking well, I hope you are feeling well. The 2021 Nuke Proof Scout was just announced and in my humble opinion it looks like they've made some pretty cool changes for this model year and today I'm going to give you an overview of them, what changes have been made, and also talk about when you can pick one up. The Nuke Proof Scout is available in three complete build specifications or you can buy the frame only in both 27.5 and 29 inch wheel options. The frames are different between the 27.5 inch and 29 inch, so keep that in mind if you decide to go with a frame only. There have been no changes to the frame geometry, so we won't touch on geometry figures as they do remain the same for the 2021 model year. We'll go ahead and start with the lowest end build and then we'll work our way up. The Nuke Proof Scout Race. Coming in at $1,100 on Chain Reaction Cycles, this bike only has mild tweaks from the 2020 version. The color is the same as last year, which they call Overcast Blue. But if you look closely, they've added some new graphics. They've added the word Scout on the down tube, and then also this little design on the top tube. To me, it looks like an arrow. I'm honestly not sure what it is. It still has the RockShox Recon RL fork, the 27.5 inch model features 140 millimeters of travel, while the 29 inch version features 130 millimeters. The 2021 model gets nuke proof Neutron V2 hubs built on WTB STI 30 TCS 2.0 rims. That's a mouthful. Whereas the 2020 model used WTB Sarah wheels. The front tire remains a Maxxis Asagai but they've changed the rear tire from a Minion DHR2 to a Dissector. The 27.5 inch version gets 2.6 inch width front and rear, while the 29 inch receives 2.5 inches up front and 2.4 inches out back. The crank set has been changed from a SR Suntour Xeron to a Shimano Dior, and the drivetrain itself has been updated to Shimano's newest Dior 10 speed. Brakes are Shimano hydraulic disc brakes with the MT4100 lever and the Shimano MT410 two piston caliper. Handlebars are updated to Nuke Proof Neutron V2s while the stem, saddle, seat post, and grips remain unchanged from 2020. Nothing too major was changed here, but I do like that they opted for the matching Shimano Dior crank set. With these minor tweaks, this is still, in my opinion, one of the best budget hardtails out there. Next is the Nuke Proof Scout Comp. I assume that is short for competition. This mid-level build is currently priced at $1,549 on Chain Reaction, which is actually $50 more than the 2020 model. Cosmetically, the color has changed from matte gray to concrete gray. There's been a lot of changes on this bike, so let's go ahead and go down the list. Starting with the fork, they've replaced the RockShox Sector RL with a Marzocchi Bomber Z2. Again, fork travel is 140 for the 27.5 and 130 for 29 inch wheels. The wheels are unchanged from 2020 and they are the Sun Ringlet Duroc 35 Comp, but this year it does have the Shimano Micro Spline Hub. Same tire situation that we discussed on the race model, the Asagai up front and the Dissector in the rear. They've changed the drivetrain from the SRAM SX Eagle to the new Shimano Dior 12 speed drivetrain with a 10 to 51 tooth cassette. I've heard a lot of people say that the SX Eagle isn't all that great, so I'm happy to see the Shimano Dior 12 speed on a factory built bike. Brakes also change from the two piston SRAM level T's to four piston Shimano Dior hydraulic disc brakes. The 2020 model came with 180 millimeter rotors front and rear, but for 2021, they are specking a 203 millimeter rotor up front and a 180 millimeter rotor in the back. The dropper post is unchanged using the Brand X Ascend internal with travel depending on the frame size. The handlebars are again updated to Neutron V2s, but the stem, saddle, and grips remain unchanged. 
With all these changes, I think the $50 price increase on this particular model is more than justified. Of the three models of the Scout, I would say the Comp is the most improved for 2021. And lastly, we have the highest end build, which is the Nuke Proof Scout Pro, coming in at $2,100. In 2020, the top model was called the Expert, but now they've changed the name to the Pro, and it is seriously gorgeous. Last year, it was this less than stellar green color, but now it's a stunning brushed alloy, and I absolutely love the way this bike looks. It is more than just a name and paint change, as the Pro model adds 10 millimeters of fork travel to both wheel sizes. The 27.5 inch Pro has 150 millimeters of travel, and the 29 inch Pro has 140 millimeters of travel. The fork did change from a Fox 36 Rhythm to a RockShox Lyric Select Charger RC. Wheels are the same this year, and they are DT Swiss M1900 splines with the same tire changes discussed earlier, the Asagai up front, Dissector in the rear. Crank set, drivetrain, and brakes are all unchanged from 2020, and they're using the Shimano SLX 12-speed drivetrain with their SLX 4-piston hydraulic disc brakes. One change is the front rotor does increase from 180 millimeters to 203 millimeters with the 180 millimeter rotor in the back. Dropper post is again the Brand X Ascend internal. Handlebars, stem, and saddle are from the nicer Nuke Proof Horizon range. Not a ton of major changes here, but if you were ever looking for a longer travel Nuke Proof Scout, they have answered your prayers. This would be the bike for you. And there you have it. Those are the 2021 Nuke Proof Scouts. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm pretty excited for these bikes. I think they made Good changes to them, good component changes. Luckily, the pricing hasn't gone up on the base model or the top end model, same as last year. A $50 price increase on the mid-range model I think is totally fair because they did improve a lot of the specs on that model, so 50 bucks I think is totally fair. Nukeproof's website says these will be available starting September 14th, or you can pre-order one through an authorized Nukeproof retailer. They did mention that 2021 stock has been increased because the 2020s were sold out pretty much all year, I think. So hopefully if you watch this, even like two, three months from now, you go to buy one. Hopefully it should be there. I have been considering replacing my hardtail. I currently have the NS Eccentric Chromo. And in my search, the Nuke Proof Scout is always on my short list especially after getting my Nukeproof Reactor, and that bike is just absolutely incredible. I'm not sponsored by Nukeproof. I paid money for my own bike, so this is my honest opinion. I really like that bike, so I don't see why their hardtail would be any different. Hopefully this video was helpful to you if you are in the market for a new bike. The Scout was one of those bikes I featured in my five trail-worthy mountain bikes under $1,200 and I've gotten a lot of comments of people saying, I want a Scout, but I can't get one. So that's why I wanted to make this video. You can watch this, see what's changed, hear the pricing, know when it's available, buy your new bike, and go rip your local trails. Let me know which Scout you like the best down in the comments below, what you think is the best value. Yeah, that's all I've got for today. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. YouTube stuff, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, buy some merch if you want. Until next time, stay rowdy within reason.